Okay, so I made it to the vehicle. I'm back. I got a rake and shovel. And I got my bag. I'm loaded for bear here now. I got a couple uh, ginger molasses cookies that I'm going to eat. <laughs> and I came across what? I thought that was a uranium gloss there for a minute. This one, oh, that one's broke too. A bit of debris here, but I'll scrape around. If I find anything, I'll get you back up on. Okay, so I got this little patch all scraped up. Nothing really noteworthy here. Nothing as old as what I'm looking for. And uh, well, this Scott's emulsion come out. It's a clear one. It's got the guy with the fish embossed on the face of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can't really get focused on it. But anyways, there's an old Hawk wine, but it's broke. Uh, there was a federal law forbids bottle, but unfortunately, not very interesting. Okay, so I'll move on up that way and hopefully get into some older stuff. Okay, I moved along a little ways here, folks, probably 100 feet or so. I got something right here. Now, it's not older, but it looks like an ACL bottle, definitely ACL soda bottle. You can see some letter in there, and it looks like there's a logo on the other side. So let's pull that out and see what it is. ACL looks pretty good on it so far. Let's roll it over. Ah, oh, it's a knee high. Huh. That might clean up all right. Yeah, we'll hang on to it. Decent little find. The knee high bottle come out right there. I see right here. Looks like a license plate. Let's pull that out and see what the date is on that. Vacation land, Maine. Cool. I don't know what the date is on that. It doesn't look like there's a date on it. Very cool. First time I've found a Maine license plate. All right, keeper. Okay, still going along here, folks. Sort of uh, surface hunting. And right here, I got a find. See that sticking out of there? Cobalt blue with the squeezer on it. Jesus, almost mint condition. All right. Nice little cubed one. Beauty. Hope that's just water in that. Camera's not focusing too well on it, but uh, there we go. Yeah, I'll take that. And I see, uh, oh wait, what's this right here? Old medicine bottle, early screw top. Right up in here. Oh, right in the roots. Gilby Collins. Now, I wouldn't normally, oh, it's edge embossed as well. I wouldn't normally take that, but uh, I think I will. I think I can get rid of that. Solid, I mean. Okay, I'll get you up uh, <laughs> in a couple minutes. Well, the idea here, folks, is to get an easy score on some really old stuff which perhaps is underneath some of this newer stuff. However, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I did get this nice cobalt blue out of there though. And it's got the original lid on it. And I just pulled out two more license plates. This one's 1962 and this one's 1960. And right here, I think I see another one. Let's pull that out. A 1959. That one's roach, though. All right. Just 
check out that area. And then check out this. A big old galvanized wash basin. Still holding water too. Got the handles, both the handles still on it. Yes, sir. I don't know if I'll take that today or not, but uh, I'll have to get a second opinion. A lot of the fun is just exploring the areas, folks. Um, you do a, a lot of exploring and scratching around and test holes and stuff until you find a good spot. Oh, there seems to be a bunch of stuff down in there. Doesn't look particularly old though. There's some galvanized pockets over this way. And once again, look. Right on a uh, barbed wire fence, right on the edge of this fence line. Some buckets. Bucket, bucket, fence line, fence pole. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of rain here. We just pulled that bucket up, oh, and we got a bunch of electrical components all strung together here. I don't know what they are. They almost look like lights, like light bulbs would go in those, screw into them. So there's another bucket right here. I thought we'd pull that up on film in case there was anything in it. And there doesn't appear to be. Okay. Huh. Any ideas? Might have a little plastic uh, motorcycle or something down here from the 50s. Let's pull that out. Alright, it is. Check it out. It's not the plastic though, it's that hard rubber. It broke. There's a policeman, I think. Cool. I think I'll keep that just the same though. Ha <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Alright. Nice little find. Me again, folks. I think I'm in a little bit of an older section right here. Right underneath this fallen tree. Um, this here cobalt blue shard come out. It's got the lug screw top on it, which is generally around the late 1920s or early 1930s. Got this little milk glass come out. It's got the original lid on it. Cream deodorant. Cool. I'm focused on that. Seems to be a glare or something there. There you go. Alright, so I'll scrape around some more in here. See if anything comes out. Well, nothing real old yet, folks, but uh, just some odds and ends. A little amber ribbed medicine bottle come out. Small green one, jar glass. I don't know if that's 1936 or 46. A um, couple of these. That had the lid on it, wasn't in too bad a condition. Hit it with a rake, scratched it up. Never would have happened with a shovel. This here just come out. Check it out. Looks like a chess piece. The knight must have been a clone or something. Cool lid. I see right in this bucket here. There's a couple of things. That's like a knob off something. Brass, I'd say. Here's something else here. Part of a lipstick tube or something. 
nothing to write home about. Um, yeah, okay, that's it for now. Well, folks, it hasn't been a total waste of time today. I always try to find some interesting stuff and some older stuff to make it worthwhile watching. <laughs> that stuff's always tricky to find, but I got a couple things right here in the hole that aren't uh, too bad. Here's a lid here, some sort of brass lid, cover to something, top to something, neat piece. There's a bottle in here, and it's got a glass stopper on it, I'd say. I don't think it's real old. It's got stippling around the base, so it's after the 40s, but... Sure, what to make of that? Anything else in there? It's right inside a bucket. That would have been an old tobacco tin. Pepsi bottle there, that's more modern. anything else you guys will be the first to know okay viewers I'm getting out of here for today it wasn't a total loss but I didn't find quite the old stuff that I was hoping to and I'll come back another day and uh, not probably not dig in that same area but perhaps look around more in the perimeter of the area see if there's anything else further out in the woods or around the other side. I see there's some stuff right down here actually. Let's check that out since we're on our way. Let's see, here's another pile of debris here. Further away, this piece of stoneware there. Huh. See now, there's a section right here I could scrape around in as well. Okay, well, stay tuned for the cleanup if I have one. If not, we'll see you on the next video. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks, and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Brooklyn. Good day, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for part two recap of uh, this site, which is a newly discovered site. And so far, it's looking like this is 1940s to 1960s, so about 20 year span in here. Now, there could be older stuff there, but uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of time, you know, digging. Uh, it was more like a preliminary exploration of uh, the surface, like surface hunting, and just getting a general idea of what's, uh, what might be there. We've got a few different things here. Before we get into it, i got a couple things I want to say. Is, uh, first off, I've had a couple viewer challenges in the past several videos. and the first video, I had a, a picture that I wanted the viewers to identify. And I don't believe I uh, mentioned the winner of that. And that was Matt from Under the Surface. And I pinned his comment to the top of the comment board. And the second one was, I think in the last video, I asked the viewers to identify a type of drink that I was drinking uh, in a much earlier video. And Tealtra Queen uh, correctly identified that. And I pinned her comment to the top of the comment board. So, uh... I'll just give both of those uh, viewers a shout out. They're both longtime supporters on my channel, so I really appreciate that. And that's the least I could do for them. Alright, um, 
What else we got to say? Well, my vehicle's been in the shop for about two months straight, so I haven't had uh, I haven't had much uh, time to do any traveling and exploring. But uh, I have got a bunch of locations in mind to check out, so uh, stay tuned for those. Now I have I have got several videos on deck here, so just like I got this drink on deck, and I do believe the bell has already rang. So uh, let's get into that. That one is on deck. Okay. Without any further ado, as they say, let's check out these uh, finds. We'll probably go through them fairly quickly. First up is the knee-high bottle. There it is. The ACL held up fairly well on it. It's a little faded right down through here. Lettering on the back's pretty good. Bottle by uh, Beckett and Company, Callus, Maine. Callus, Maine, folks. Just over the border. I'm not far from the uh, United States and Canadian border, so that one's from across the border. Folks cross the border quite often here, and they always have, especially to pick up gas and milk. <laughs> you get to the border and say, uh, where are you going? You say, oh, just over to get some gas and milk. And they say, okay, go ahead. There's the Illinois glass mark. And uh, there's a number there. I can't quite make it out. Maybe 59. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's that. We got the Gilby Collins. What is that? A gin bottle? Lovely color. And I think I can probably sell that if I just put that in a lot of bottles. And... Uh, because of the color of it. It is embossed. It is a nice bottle, but it's not real old. It's probably from the 50s as well. Next up is this fork. This is a pretty good find. It's not silver, but I'm thinking it's brass. It's quite uh, heavy duty. I'm trying to get focused on it here. And the camera's just not cooperating. But it's quite, quite sturdy. Nice little uh, item. A relic. This bottle here does have a glass stopper, but it's got some plastic in it, so I'm guessing that is also from the 40s, probably. Got the stippling around the edge here. They started doing that around 1940, so... Nice little green bottle. Probably get rid of that in a lot of bottles. Uh, I actually sold $50 worth tonight, as a matter of fact. So that always helps, especially with the price of gas nowadays. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five blue bottles. That's a nice one there. Look how the background lights right up under that blue. Beauty. Nice dropper bottle. Might be able to get 10 bucks for those five blue bottles right there. Just those themselves. So I always keep the blue bottles. Got this little amber bottle. Find those quite frequently in this area in 1940s and 1950s dumps. And they come in a variety of sizes. This is one of the smaller size. I think there is one that's... Oh, smaller than this. Well, there's probably, I don't know, five or six different sizes. This one here, I found one of these lids I think last year and uh, I believe it turned out to be a clone bottle. I tried looking again but I couldn't find any info on it this time. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's a clone bottle. It's a cool looking lid though. That's why I kept it. I'll probably throw the bottle out, I don't know. Hard to say. You never know with me what I'm going to do. This one here, um, give me a second. I got to go check again. I forget what that turned out to be. Okay, I'm back, folks. It turned out to be an Auburn Harley Davidson police trike from the 1950s. Pretty cool find. 
one of my favorites from this dig. Too bad the wheels are missing off the back of it. Pretty nice though, just the same, don't you think? It's a cool find, anyways. Got my straw in there now. How'd that get in there? That's a Burger King straw. This lid is pretty cool. It's brass. Hmm. Thought that was like a cocoon or something, but it isn't. I knew I cleaned it up, so it was kind of puzzling. Interesting lid. I like it. We got an old porcelain insulator. And finally, folks, from this site, we got three milk glass jars here. A variety of different sizes. This one's got a swirly pattern on it. And the original lid. It says cream deodorant. I don't know if you can read that or not, but that's what it says. These are nice. You can put tea candles in them. They make a nice little light. Maybe I'll show that in another video. What that looks like. Oh yes, I forgot. I almost forgot these license plates. I brought two of the license plates home. This one's from Maine, Vacation Land. I'm guessing it's from the 50s. And this one is a New Brunswick license plate, 1962, as you can see up here. There were some other ones there too, but they're pretty much toasted. I, I might go back and dig around some more to get some, uh, see if there's any more license plates there. Because I actually sold several of those to a guy just recently for 20 bucks, so. That was nice, and they weren't even in good condition, so, but, hey, he collects license plates, and uh, he was happy with them, so I'm happy with it, too. All right, folks, over and out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Tune in uh, for the next videos, because I got some, uh, got some good ones coming up, a little bit older stuff. Have a great day, folks.